Good morning. This morning I'm reading the book of Job, and Job is telling a parable about wisdom. And he says this in Job chapter 28 and verse 12. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth saith, it is not in me, and the sea saith, it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir and the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Job is, is bringing this parable out, and he's talking about wisdom. He, he's talking about all of these precious things that men search for in the earth. Things like gold and silver, topaz, rubies, all of these precious jewels and precious metals. And he's saying, Wisdom does not come from the earth. Now that is very interesting to me because if you think about that for just a minute, you, you realize how necessary wisdom is for human life and yet it doesn't come from the earth. Well, where then does it come from? Well, Job says in chapter 28, verse 28, and unto man he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. The fear of the Lord is wisdom. What does wisdom look like? How do you know when you have wisdom? Well, Jesus told a parable uh, about this in Matthew chapter 7. And in verse 24, he says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Wisdom does not come from this earth. Where then does it come from? It comes from God. It comes from the Lord Jesus Christ, and it comes from his word. <laughs> when we fear God, when we have a respect to God, when we search for God and we find him in Christ, then we find wisdom because Jesus is true wisdom. And when we hear his words and we put them into practice in our life and we do them, well, that is a wise person, he says. The one who built his house on the rock, the solid foundation of the word of God. Not only that, but wisdom is accessible to us. As we listen to what Job says, we say you could search the whole earth and not find it, and that's true. But if you'll go outside of the earth, if you go to Jesus, I mean, I mean, really, you know, Jesus came from the Father. And so when he does come to this earth, he brings that from God with him, the word of God. And so James tells us in James chapter one and verse five, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. If we lack wisdom, we need to go to the one who is wisdom and we need to ask for it. And he says that if we ask in faith, he'll give it. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. You'll never find wisdom by searching this earth for it. You've got to go to Jesus and trust him and receive him, and believe on him and then take his word and put it into practice and ask him and you'll have wisdom. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.